Hello, Alexandra. Hello, Karen. Hello, Alexandra. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Day. Ah, okay, that's excellent. Yeah. Teacher, thank you so much. Que me ayudó en las que estaba trabado. Ya tenía rato. Ah, okay. Don't mention it. My pleasure. Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever you, whenever that you need help, just write on my WhatsApp and I'm going to help you if I can. Right? Oh. Me tardé ahí un poquito porque a veces estoy ocupadito sí. también. Sí, yo sé. No se preocupe que yo también estaba ocupada, pero estaba haciéndola. Pero ah. ya terminé. Four y five. Ah, okay. That's excellent. And solo le queda el final exam. Um, no, ya lo terminé. Ah, yo el 4 de las 5 y el examen solo me falta el ítem 1 porque ahí en el trabajo no, no, no hay bocinas, no podía escuchar qué decía. Ah, ok, I understand. Hello, Ajá. Carla. Hello, Edma. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you, Edma? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Ah, okay, that's excellent. And how was your weekend? How was your fin de semana? Um, I had a weekend uh, uh, hard because my brother was uh, de cumple. Así que. Oh, it Esto was your brother's birthday. Ah, yes. you have to decorate. Did yes, you did yes. you bake the cake? Yes. Horneó usted el pastel? Yes. No, no, no. Ah, okay. Ya I le va a encargar uno. Uh, I take good. Ah, okay. You have to cook. Les tocó cocinar. Yes. Ah, okay. So happy birthday to your brother. Thank you, teacher. Hello, Emma. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello. Yes, we can listen to you. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Excuse me. Can you repeat, please? Good evening. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening, evening. class. Logro averiguarme lo, de la, lo del formulario. Yes, it's for the next level. You have to send ah, your okay. information for the next course. And okay. you have two days to do that because the due date is on June 15. Es el 15 de junio. Es para el Thank siguiente you. nivel. Thank Así you, que... teacher. Pueden hacerlo mañana, ¿verdad? Si pueden, para que no lleguen a la fecha límite. Envíenlo mañana, es para el siguiente módulo. Ok. Do you have any question about the platform? ¿Cómo se llama el siguiente módulo? Yes. This is pre intermediate 3. Ah. El pre intermedio 3, creo. Sería pre intermedio 1. Hello, Emma. Sería el pre intermedio 1. Ahorita están en. Ah, sí, sería pre intermedio 1, perdón. Ah, I was mistaken. I'm sorry. Yes. Pre intermedio 1. Pre intermedio 1. Pre intermedio 1. That is. That is the next course. Thank you, Emma. Thank you so much. Do you have any question, any problem on the platform exercises? No. Any comment about the meter exam? Ya ni nos acordamos de ese teacher. Hace tanto que lo hice. It's okay, very good. So let's start with tonight class. Today we're going to start the section number four. And in this section, we are going to learn about the simple past. And we are going to start with the simple past tense uh, using the regular verbs. 
you know that we have a regular verbs and irregular verbs. And also we have the simple past with the verb to be. So what's the difference between the regular and irregular verbs? Uh, the difference is that regular verbs follow some rules to make the simple past tense. Uh, the irregular verbs, no, it doesn't follow any rule. So you have to learn them from a list. I'm going to send you on the WhatsApp group a list of birds, but it is going to be tomorrow when we start studying the irregular birds. So for today, we're going to start with regular birds. So here we go. If you don't have any other question or any problem on the platform, let's start with tonight class. The topic for tonight is, did you have fun? Look, it's a question in past. Did you have fun? Se divirtió. Did you had fun last weekend? Se divirtió el fin de semana pasado? Then you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you have fun? Hicieron. Good evening, teacher. Yes, I did. Okay, Cristina, thank you. Sí, se divirtió. That's perfect. Okay, so let's start with this. This is the lesson objective for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. That is the lesson goal for today, the lesson objective. A positive and negative statements, affirmative and negative statements in simple past and especially using the regular verbs. So let's start with this small conversation. Can you identify some verbs in simple past in this conversation? Can you identify some verbs? Pueden identificar algunos verbos en esta conversación? <laughs> Okay, we have a hat, is one. Yes, the other one. Cleaned. Muy bien, cleaned. Tired. So, tired. Let's see. I feel a little tired. Uh, in this case, in this case, tired is an adjective. Okay. Shopper. Yes, visited. shopped. Shop. Visited. Visited is another one. Thank you. Landed. Studied. Studied is another one. Thank you. Studied. So we are going to listen to this small conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation of these birds. So we have their cleaned, shop, visited, and studied. And also watch, watched. So pay attention, let's listen to this conversation. Let me know please if you can listen it. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good- Can you listen to the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Oh, what did Jennifer do last weekend? She did a lot of activities. What did she do? What did Jennifer do? Okay, Jennifer on Saturday. She 
Exercise in the morning. Okay, yes, you exercise. What more? Any other activity that she did? She cleaned laundry and shopped. Thank and you. And she visited her parents. She cleaned, she did the laundry and shopped. And then she visited her parents. Very good. And what about Michael? What did Michael do last weekend? <laughs> he watched television all weekend. He watched television all weekend. Oh, yes. He just watched television all weekend. Okay. Uh, oh, and also Jennifer studied. Right? Jennifer mm -hmm. studied for the test. But no, Michael. ¿Cómo creen que le vaya en ese examen? Bad. Bad. Ok, probably he's gonna get a bad score. Eh, ¿Les ha pasado? ¿Se les olvidó que tenían evaluación alguna vez? Yes. Yes. ¿Y qué tal? ¿Cómo yes. les fue? Cuéntenme cómo anda su suerte. <laughs> En no, mi caso, no, no. como era, era, era parcial de análisis, como nosotros decíamos en la U, pajística. Ah, <ríe> Podíamos okay. inventar. Ok. Y salía muy bien. Ok. Tomemos nota de esas técnicas. <ríe> pajística. That's nice. Thank <ríe> you, Cristina. Bueno, algunas veces nos va bien y otras pues no tanto, ¿verdad? Pero con llegar al 6, suficiente. Okay, so thank you. So look at this word. Exercise is a regular verb. Also shop, clean, uh, study, and watch. Oh, and visit it too. They are regular verbs. So el pasado de ellos se forma agregándole ed. Ya vamos a ver las reglas como agregar ese ed. But listen again. Let's listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation. And then we're going to practice this conversation. I'm going to ask you for your help to practice in this. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I need to volunteer who wants to practice in this small conversation. Yes, to volunteers. Hey, teacher. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. Any other volunteer? Alexandra and? Me, teacher. Thank you, Christina. Thank you so much. Can you please start, Alexandra? Okay, teacher. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little, a little tighter today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watch television all week. Okay, thank you, that was excellent. Just pay attention to the pronunciation of the birds in simple passes. Cleaned, cleaned, shopped, shopped. Visit it, visit it, study it, study it, and watched, watched. We're going to learn that tonight, so don't worry. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Yes. Perdón. Eh, a mí me cuesta cuando es en pasado la pronunciación. Siempre se tiene que pronunciar como con D al final. Hay tres tipos de pronunciación para la terminación en D de los verbos regulares. La primera es como una T. La siguiente uh -huh. es con sonido de D. Y la última es IT, el sonido IT. 
For example, in this verb uh -huh. clean, clean uh -huh. termina en N, que es una voice. Uh -huh. Tiene vibración en su garganta cuando está clean. Esa termina en D, clean. Uh -huh. clean. En el caso de shop, que es una voiceless, que no tiene vibración en su garganta, se pronuncia uh -huh. como T, shop. Shop. Uh -huh. okay. Y los verbos que terminan en T, como visit y también en D, se pronuncia it. I visited. Visited. Okay. Lo vamos a ver hoy. Este día lo vamos a ver más adelantito en la clase. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank your you. So let's continue. Let's go with this. Look at this example. I studied on Sunday. You watch television. She stayed at home. We shopped for groceries. They exercise on Saturday. So these are examples of affirmative sentences. Yo estudié el sábado. Nosotros vimos, tele, tú viste la televisión. Ella estuvo en casa. Nosotros eh, fuimos de compras ¿verdad? por alimentos. Ellos ejercitaron el día sábado. If I want to make it negative sentences, si quiero hacer oraciones negativas, I have to use did. I need this auxiliary. I need the auxiliary did plus not. Y contractado esto se pronuncia didn't. I didn't. You didn't. She didn't. We didn't. They didn't. I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't shop for clothes. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Now look at this, watch, studied, exercised, stayed, and shopped. That's the pronunciation of this verb. Estos cinco verbos son verbos regulares. El pasado lo hacemos agregando ed. Look at this case, watch, watched. Agregamos acá ed, exercise, termina en e. Si el verbo termina en e, simplemente agregamos de. Eh, study it. Si el verbo termina en consonante más una Y, vamos a eliminar esta Y y vamos a agregar I y D. Study it. Stay, por su parte, termina en vocal Y. Entonces, no necesitamos eliminarla, solo agregamos ED. Y en el caso de shop, termina en esta combinación. Es un verbo de una sola sílaba, shop. Y termina en la combinación consonante vocal. Consonante, entonces necesitamos duplicar la última consonante antes de agregar ED. Veamos esas reglas más detenidamente. Aquí está. Número uno. This is the rule number one. To make simple past tense using the regular verbs. This tense is formed by adding ed to the verb, to most of the verb. A la mayoría de verbos solo vamos a agregarle ed. And I have here some examples. Laugh, watch, start it, call, and listen. Rule number two. If the verb end in e, you just add d. Si los verbos terminan en e, solo agregamos d. Easy. Light, agreed. Bait, escape. Rule number three is a verse and in consonant plus Y, you take off, you have to take off the Y and add IED. Si el verbo termina en una consonante más una Y, you take off. Eliminamos, quitamos la Y and add IED. Examples, carry, carry. Try, tried, try, tried, try, tried. Do you have any questions at this moment? Questions? No questions? Then let's go with the next rule. Remember, rule number one, most of the verbs, we need to add ed to the verb. If the verb ends in e, you just add d. If a verse and in consonant plus Y, you take off the Y and add IED. And the rule number 
four, if a verse end in a vowel plus y, you just add ed. Si el verbo termina en una consonante más y, no quitamos la y, simplemente agregamos ed. Like this one, play, played, pray, prayed, enjoy, enjoy, delay, delayed. And the last one, when a one, when a one syllable verb, un verbo de una sola sílaba, termina en vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. Like stop, stopped, planned, planned, hop, hopped, and bed, bed. Questions? Sí, yeah. sí, question. Uh, cuando, cuando usa el verbo enjoy, este, en el ejercicio 4 parece que está, este, pide el verbo pasado. Pero yo lo puse enjoy ed, pero no lo, no, lo, no lo toma como bueno. Solo agarra enjoy. Entonces, si pide pasado, ¿por qué no lo agarra así? Eso es en la plataforma. Sí. ¿Qué ejercicio número se recuerda? Creo que es el 4. El... No me acuerdo. Okay, let's go there and take a look at this. Let me see. Here, I guess. You say exercise number. It's time. Después de este video, ese creo que es. Sí, ese. Man. Sí. Okay, let's see. No, no es ese. Ese es el siguiente. Ahí es. Porque ah. acá dice: Complete the conversation, music, correct of the verbos in the past term. Pasado y no agarra enjoy. Okay, thank you for your question. Now let's see what's happening here. The problem here that is that this is a question. This is a question. Is did you enjoy your summer? And in questions, the past form is in the auxiliary. So did is in past, which is do. Did. Then we need to use the the base form of the verb. Tenemos que utilizar la forma base del verbo, o sea, sin conjugar. En este caso tendríamos que escribir enjoy. Did you enjoy your summer? Porque es una pregunta, es una pregunta, ¿no? por eso. Es una oración interrogativa. En estas oraciones necesitamos utilizar la forma base del verbo, porque el pasado ya está acá absorbido por el auxiliar. Digámoslo así, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Bueno, okay. no lo había entendido así. Ok, cool. Thank you for your question. Excellent, thank you. And let's continue then with this. Then don't forget these five rules. And don't worry, I'm going to share with you this presentation for you to have this information on your cell phone. So let's make this exercise. The first one. We a movie last night. The verb is watch. Necesito agregarle ed, ed, or just d. Ed. Watch it. Okay. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. We need to add ed. Watched. Uh, Sam, the computer an hour ago. And the verb I have here is use. So I need ied, d. Only use ed. The okay. only the letter D because it it ends in E. So let's see. Used yesterday, mom a okay. K. The verb is bake. Bake it. I need E D, I E D, or just D. Bake it. D. Just the letter D. Thank D. you. 
Eh, number four, who they would outside chop. ¿Quién cortó chop. la leña afuera? ED. P. P. ED. Ah, ok, thank you. Este es un verbo de, sí. de una sola sílaba y termina en la combinación, ¿verdad? Eh, consonante, vocal, consonante, then I have to double the P. Chopped in this case. Done dinner for us last week. And the verb I have here is cook. Ed. Okay, I need ed. Done cook dinner for us last week. And number six. It's free. Yeah, the whole night. The verb is cry. Cry. Okay, I need ied, right? Because the verb ends in consonant plus y. Then I need to take out the y and add ied like this. Okay. It cried the whole night. Right. I need a volunteer to read these six sentences. Who wants to try? Who wants to practice? Any volunteer? Who Make wants to guess. help me? Oh, thank you. Can you please start? Go ahead. Do it, please. Okay. We watched a movie last night. Watch a sip. Watch. Watched. Watched. With, tea, with okay. this sound. Watch. We watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer on our ago. A sip teacher. Juice. Yesterday mom. Juice. Use. With, with tea at the end. Use. La repito. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Así. Yes, you, thank you. Much better now. Yesterday, yesterday mom baked a, a cake. Bake a cake. Who chopped the wood outside? Dan cooked dinner for us last week. It cried the wild night. Good teacher. Okay, thank you. Very good try. It the whole the whole night. It cried. It cried the whole night. It cried the whole night. Thank you. And Dan cooked. Dan cooked dinner for us last week. Dan Wait. cooked dinner for us last week. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer who wants to try? The last volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Alexandra. Um, we watch a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Yesterday, mom baked a cake who chopped the good outside. Dan cooked dinner for us last week. It cried the whole night. Thank you so much. Almost perfect. Very good job. That's the last two words. Whole. The whole night. Thank you. And let's go with the next thing tonight. I need to go to this. So we are going to listen and practice the pronunciation of ED. So let's listen. There are three sounds to pronounce the ED final. A final sound in the bird. You have D, D, and E. So it's like T, D, and E. T, D, E. T. You are going to listen to these sounds right now. And then we are going to practice. So let's listen. These verbs end in T. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. Okay, so there are three sounds you listen t, t, it, t, t, id. So worked, watched, cleaned, stayed, invited. Visited. So let's listen again and then we are going to practice. 
Pay attention to this sound. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, who wants to try? I need a volunteer. Who wants to try? Who wants to try to pronounce these verbs in simple past correctly? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. Worked. Watched. Cleaned. Stayed. Invited. Visited. Okay, very good tries. Visited. Thank you. Stayed. Stayed and visited. Thank you. Very good try. Thank you, Byron. Any other? My teacher. Thank you. Worker. Work. Watcher. Cleaner. Steiner. In visited. In this. Visited. Visited. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Very good job, Anna. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Anyone? Any other volunteer? If not, I'm going to choose somebody then. Eduardo, can you please? Um, work it. Uh, wash it. Clean it. Expanded, invited, visited. Okay, thank you. So invited, visited, cleaned, stayed, work, watched. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Very good job. The last one. Who wants to try? The last volunteer for tonight in this part, in this exercise. My teacher. Oh, thank you, Emma. Yes. Work it, watch it, clean it, stay, stay, invite it, uh, visit it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very good job. So, work, watch. Let's listen the last time. Escuchemos la última vez. Pay attention. Then we're going to have a practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay, don't forget about the sounds. In... These verbs end. Let's look at this small paragraph. So. We can see some regular verbs there. Here we go. So last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The way I arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. In the first verb, walked. This is with D or D sound. Walked. T, T sound. T sound. And what about the next one? I got there. I glanced through the menu. T, T. Okay, excellent. It's T sound too. Then they waited a ride. And I ordered a stick, a ride, and I ordered. Which is the sound? D. Ah, okay, it's the sound. And the next one, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. The last two verbs. D, two. D2, okay, listen again. The way they handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. ED. 
¿Y ti? Y it sound, muy bien. Y it sound, I do sound. So, last weekend I walk to my favorite restaurant. When I go there, I glance through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So, who wants to try? Look at the pronunciation here. Okay, it's that you say walked, glanced, and the other two verbs are right, ordered, arrived, ordered, and the other one handed and tasted. Who wants to try reading this is one paragraph and try to pronounce the verb correctly? Who wants? Who wants? Any volunteer tonight? Me, teacher. I try. Okay, thank you, Cristina. Okay. Go ahead. Last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. Or the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tastes great. Okay, thank you so much. Just the two last words. Hand it, taste it. Okay. That, was, that was excellent. Okay. Thank you, Cristina. Okay. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer who wants to try? Juan, can you? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Last weekend, I walked, walked, no, walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there at Rosso, through, through the menu, the waiter read and the order a steak. After dinner, the waiter handed my bill. I lay happy because my meal toasted great. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. So we have walked, glanced, arrived, ordered, handed, and tasted. Thank you, Juan. That was excellent. I really appreciate your help in this. Let us ask the last volunteer who wants, who wants to try. A volunteer, please. Just one. One more. Who wants? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. Um, last, last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tastes great. Thank you. Very good. That was a very good. So don't forget about the sound. Walked, glanced, arrived, ordered, handed and tasted. Let's go with the next exercise here. So how I am going to pronounce ED sounds. Here is the explanation. ¿Cómo voy a pronunciar ese sonido ED al final de cada uno de los verbos regulares? So it, we are going to pronounce the sound it if the verb ends in a T or a D. If the verb ends in a T or a D sound, use the sound it to pronounce the end of this verb. Let's see, for example, the verb want. It's N in T sound, want. In simple past, we are going to say wanted, wanted. Need, need. In the simple past, we are going to say need it. Oh, sorry. We are going to say need it, need it. Cuando vamos a utilizar el sonido de T, we are going to pronounce the ED as a T sound, like any of the words that any in this voice sound. Cuando el verbo termine en una de estas letras o de estos sonidos, de estos sonidos, we are going to use T sound. We are going to say, si el verbo termina en P, K, F, S, C, H, C, S, H, C, H, or T, H, sound, 
then we are going to pronounce like, like. Let's see, for example, health. So you have to say in simple past, health, health, wash, washed, washed, with this sound. Cuando voy a pronunciar como de, like, like the, any verb that ends with a vowel sound or the sounds, todos los verbos que terminen en vocal, en sonido de vocal, o el sonido, L, M, N, J, R, G, V, V, W, N, Z. B, V, W, N, C. Example, cold, cold, played, played. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? You just have to learn this, right? Si el verbo termina en T o D, then I'm going to pronounce it. Like want it and need it. Si el verbo termina en uno de estos sonidos, like P, K, F, S, S, H, C, H, or T, H, voy a pronunciar el sonido de T. Helped, washed. Y si el verbo termina en una vocal, o en el sonido de alguna de estas letras, L, M, N, J, R, G, B, V, W, N, Z. Then I'm going to say D, D, D sound, D sound, called, played. Questions? Do you have any question in this part? I'm going to share the presentation with you. So who wants to try reading this using the correct pronunciation? Any volunteer who wants to try? Me teacher. Thank you. I use a scarf. I needed a sword sweater. He pushed it to the bottom. I studied for the test. Thank you so much. I used a scarf. I needed a sweater. Uh, he pushed the button. I studied for the test. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, please do it. I used a scarf. I needed a sweater. He pushed the bottom. He started for the test. Okay, thank you. Very good job. So used is with D sound or T sound? Used. T sound. He sounds, he said, I used a scarf. The second one, it sound. So then it. I needed a sweater. And number three, he pushed. He pushed, pushed the button. And the last one, I studied. I studied for this. Any other volunteer? Who wants to try? Let's practice. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. I, okay. I use a scarf. I need a sweater. He pushing the border. I studying for the test. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very good try. So I pushed. Sorry, he pushed, he pushed, studied. I studied for the test. Thank you. I need uh, any other volunteer, any other volunteer, help me, help Teacher. me, please. Yes. I use a scarf. I need a sweater. He pushed, he pushed the butter. 
I studied for the test. Oh, thank you so much. Very, very great. That was excellent. Thank you, Edma. You did a great job. Anyone? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, okay. Christina, please. I I used a scarf, a scarf, the knitted, a sweater, the pushed, the button. I studied for the test. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the second one, uh, here is a mistake, right? It's I need it. I need it as sweater. I don't know why they were there. Ah, perdón. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need I'm, it. I'm sorry. It was my I fault. Need it. Don't worry. Yes, I need it. I need it as sweater. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cristina. Great job. Anyone? Any other volunteer? A la one, a la two, a la three. Teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. I use a scalp. I knew I swear. He, he pushed the ball. I still for the test. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank Great you. job. Let's go with the next. Now, ya sabemos cómo hacer estos verbos, cómo agregarles ed, cuando vamos a utilizar ed, y ed, i, e, d, and also d. También ya sabemos cómo vamos a pronunciarlos. Ahora, ¿cómo hago una oración? Let's see. We need to use the following structure to make sentences in simple past. We need to follow this structure. For an affirmative sentence, we need a subject ver in past tense plus complement. Eso es todo lo que necesitamos para una oración afirmativa. Un sujeto, el verbo en pasado y el complemento. And we have a affirmative sentence. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed at home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. In the first one, what is the subject in the first sentence? In the first affirmative sentence, what is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto en esa oración? I. I. Okay, thank you, I. And the verb in oh. past is studied. I studied, studied on studied. Sunday. In the second one, what is the complement? Television. 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 Television is the complement. The subject is you and the verb is watched. In number three, she stayed at home. What is the subject in that sentence? She. She. She stayed at home. Okay, as you can see, this is the structure. This is the order. Esta es la estructura, este es el orden para una oración afirmativa en pasado simple, con los verbos irregulares. So, we shop for a grocery and they exercise on Saturday. Now, negative sentences. But before to go to negative sentences, let's practice. Use the verbs in the box to complete the following sentences. I have the word live, enjoy, stop, jump, and stay. In number one, which one I need? They enjoy the cruise. The cruise? They enjoy the cruise. It could be, right? And so, enjoy. Para hacerlo en pasado, es el verbo. El verbo disfrutar. Okay. Necesito ed o enjoy. ID. 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 ED or IED? ED. Oh, oh, ¿Por qué solo ED and no IED? Porque se transforma la Y. Ok, let's see. Ah, no, se agrega, se agrega, se agrega. Muy bien. Sí. Solo se agrega ED, pero no, ED. Se, no se quita la Y. Mm. No. Porque ah, es. Con este se le agrega, se le agrega el, el, la ED. Ok, excelente. Muy bien. O is a vowel. 
So they enjoy the cruise. Thank you. They enjoyed the cruise. Number two, the car at the light. ¿Cuál verbo puede ser? Leave, stop, jump, or stay. Stop. Stop. Muy bien. ¿Cómo stop. lo convierto en pasado? ¿Qué necesito? I, E, D. E, D. E, D. E, D. E, D. Just E, D. P, E, D. Oh, thank you, Carla. P, E, D. Como está en la combinación consonante, vocal, consonante y es de una sola sílaba, necesito duplicar la P. Stop. La P. The car is stopped ah. at the light. Thank you. The frog, very high. Jump. Jumped. Y que okay. necesito hacerle ese verbo para convertirlo a pasado. Jump. Ed. 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 E -E -D, or yes, E D. Just E D. E -E -D. Just E D, e -D right? Jumped. Porque acá no hay una. Está una consonante, consonante, consonante. Right? Y solo duplico la P cuando es una vowel acá. So jumped. E rose home alone. Or yeah. stay. Or stay. Yeah. Stay. Stay. Okay. Thank you. Why don't you say stay? ¿Y qué necesito para convertir ese verbo a pasado? What do I need? Ed. 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 Yes, I need ed. Stayed. Rose stayed home alone. And the last one, number five. Live. 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 Just D. Just D, right? Because it ends in the letter E. Thank you. Okay. He lived in Ram long e. time ago. Thank you. Very good job. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next one. We need to use the following structure to make negative sentences. Subject, we're going to need a subject, didn't, very in present, and complement. Esto es lo que necesitamos para hacer una oración negativa en el pasado. Subject, un sujeto, didn't, que es la contracción de did plus not, didn't, ver in present, o verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? En infinitivo sin conjugar, plus complement. Ay, no se les olvide esta parte. Si es una oración negativa, el verbo debe ir en base present. form, o en present, right? sin conjugar. Look at the following examples. I didn't study on Sunday. So, can you see? Didn't, then the verb is in the base form. Or in present, I didn't study on Sunday. You didn't watch television. She didn't stay at home. We didn't shop for groceries. They didn't exercise on Saturday. O sea, ya no necesito agregarle ED a los verbos. Es decir, Sí, He hecho una pregunta. Dígame. Es decir, que en, en oraciones positivas los verbos sufren cambios dependiendo de las consonantes y las vocales. Ah, el agregar ¿sí? la, la T y D o D. Pero cuando transformamos las oraciones en negativo, los verbos no sufren ningún cambio. Se mantienen. Así es, exacto. Se los, mantienen. Sí, los verbos. Ajá. Okay. Los verbos Gustar, se igual, stay, shop, exercise. Así es, porque okay. el pasado lo absorbe el auxiliar. I didn't study. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, thank you. Let's go with the last exercise for tonight. Let's see. We are going to um, scramble the following sentences. I have the word didn't, sister, I held in mind. Can you tell me what is the sentence? Me teacher. I didn't help um, my sister. I didn't help my sister. Okay, thank you, Edna. I didn't help my sister. Get ready for the second one. I have car, he, watch, didn't, his. 
He didn't wash this car. Oh, thank you. That was excellent. Thank you, Carla. He didn't wash his car. Number three, I have yesterday golf. We didn't play. We didn't play we golf. We golf yesterday. Ah, can you please repeat? We didn't play really? golf yesterday. Oh, thank you. We didn't play golf yesterday. Two planned a trip Mexico, the boys. The, the boys mm -hmm. planned to a trip Mexico. Mexico. Okay, the, the boys, boys planned, planned a trip, a trip to, to Mexico. To Mexico, thank you. The boys planned, planned a trip to Mexico. Number five. Dance, Peter, when Susan, with Walt, Walt Day. Peter with, with Susan dancing uh, the Walt. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Pero se olvidó de la palabra with. With. Peter with, Peter with Susan. Susan. Ah, okay, Peter dance. with Susan. Dance. 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 The, the world. The world. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see. I have here the answer. Number one, I didn't help my sister. We didn't play golf yesterday. Peter danced the waltz with Susan. He didn't wash his car and the boys planned a trip to Mexico. Is it easy or difficult? Está fácil o está difícil? Está fácil. Ah, okay, easy. Okay, I'm going to share the presentation with you, right? So tomorrow you are going to have it in the WhatsApp group. In case you need this information, do you have any other question? No more questions tonight. Okay, who wants to try this? Who wants to try this five sentences? Any volunteer? Just one, just one volunteer. Nice. Thank you, Juan. Let's listen, Juan, first. Only number one or? All of them, please. All of them. Okay. I didn't help my sister. I didn't help my sister. One learn plan. He didn't watch his car. We didn't play golf yesterday. The boy planned a trip to Mexico. Peter and Dance, the world with Susan. Thank you so much, Juan. That was perfect. Thank you. Very good job. The last one, the last volunteer for tonight. And then we finish the class. Oh, thank you. Go ahead, please. I didn't help, help my sister. He yeah, didn't, didn't wash his car. We didn't play out yesterday. Um, the boys planned a trip to Mexico. Yeah, Peter does the world with Susan. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help in your participation during this session. If you have any question, any doubt, you can write on the WhatsApp group or you can write to my personal WhatsApp. And it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.